Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a speed run of my main daily, specifically working my pass horses. This will give those who are thinking about starting a pass farm or those who are just a little bit unsure about starting one an idea of how long it takes to work a farm. But just keep in mind that my farm is still just about eight horses short of my recommended 60, but I mean it's close enough that it really won't make much difference that I'm only eight short. I've got this stopwatch application that I downloaded in the bottom right corner of my screen right here and I'll start timing this when I begin working my pass horses so my pass horses are the only thing that I'm gonna time I'm not gonna time the rest of my actions on here but let's go ahead and get started one thing I do want to show first is my AP amount is I don't know why I chose the black market I'm at the store my AP amount is 170. I just want to make note because as I start working my pass farm, you, you'll notice that my AP amount and my Equus amount will go up as I start working my pass horses, as well as actually I want to show my resources. My iron resources are at 3047 right now. So just keep that in mind and we'll see all that go up as I start working my pass horses and I'll get to that later on. So, okay, now we can go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is check my workshop. I'm going to keep explanations to this kind of as a kind of at a bare minimum just to kind of like keep this flowing and keep it going smoothly. And I do try to check my workshops first thing because I always craft western saddles and I need to keep that kind of at a schedule here. So these just should be from my login. I did not get nope. I didn't get any competition cards coming in overnight. So let's go ahead and scratch that. We'll wait to Oh, I got a vintage apple. I actually like vintage apples. Okay, so we need to go ahead. I'm going to check my meadows actually real quick. Okay, I don't have... I need to switch them. Okay, I did get some flax seeds come in. Harvest that. It's still winter, so I'm just going to plant more flax seeds. I would make sure that if you're not able to log in for very long throughout the day like these are going to be like the main things that I would recommend that you do if you only have just a few minutes if you're short on time which I've had that before if I've been on vacation or something and I have limited access okay this little stopwatch thing's in my way if I have like limited access to a computer and I can only use my phone I, there's just a few things that I do that I make sure that I do okay I'm one I'm 100% meadow short. Oh well, I'll have to go buy another one probably. Okay, let's put that one. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working my pass horses. Let's get on there. All right, so we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get set. We're gonna see how long this takes and go. I'm gonna open up about 30 horses right here. I'm gonna let them all load for a second. Otherwise my page will just refresh if I click on something too soon. Hopefully I don't have any browser problems like right there. I should have cleared my cache and cookies before I started this and I recommend that if you farm a lot of horses and even just in general good browser maintenance that clearing your cache and cookies is a really good idea in order to keep your web page your browser running smoothly like I've noticed that if I haven't cleared my cache for a day or two or something that um, loading pages will be a bit more of a pain. So definitely make sure that you keep your cache and your, your web browser cache cleared. And if you're not sure how to do that, go on to Google because it will be different depending on which browser that you use. Okay, here we go. Now, when I'm working my pass horses for the most part, like you'll notice right there, I didn't actually feed that horse the recommended amount of fodder. I think I gave it 11 and it should have been given 12. Um, if I'm like one or two over, it's not a big deal. The point for these guys is just speed. And if you have the pre-selected food perk, it's really nice because that will definitely shorten your time that it takes. And if you have the VIP account, you can move the action blocks around, in which case I would recommend putting your mission box over here underneath this care section because then you can just click mission, bedroom feed, and boom, you're done. I don't feel like I'm as fast as I usually am. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess we'll have that right. I don't really mind. I'm going to pass on the mash. I tend to pass up the apples, carrots, 
mashes. Sometimes I'll take a mash. It just depends on if I'm like running low on mashes and I want a free one. But I tend to try to go after the AP UFOs, Asian Point UFOs, or some of the better TAC UFOs like Three Star TAC. And you've probably seen me do that a few times where I'll like say, I don't want the Apple UFO. Give me an Aging Point. We're going to enter this horse in the Grand Prix. And for my pass horses, these are the guys that I pretty much use to just enter the Grand Prix for the participants fee. And I do that on International as well, except I use eight immortal AP farmers and I use them just because they don't die on me and I don't have to worry about tacking up past horses that are just going to die in several months and then I'll have to retack new horses. So the AP, the immortal AP farmers are nice because I just, I can just leave them tacked up and they won't die and have wasted me spending money on that tack. Although really if you enter the same horses all the time, then it's not going to be a big deal because daily participants fee minimum is 500 per horse and then if you have the bonus you'll get a thousand per horse so i mean that'll that'll pay for the tack easily if you keep entering that same horse all the time okay that one's i'm done with english grand prix i think i've got one more western grand prix horse okay we're at three minutes and 16 seconds and i'm about halfway done i feel like i'm slow today yeah right there i totally messed up oh well and it's not like you have to speed speed rush this. I mean, you can take your time. I would probably recommend doing that a little bit anyway, because if you try to rush your way through it, you'll just get frustrated and it'll just get more of a pain. I usually sometimes pull up other YouTube videos and I'll have those pulled up on the side while I'm doing this. I find that tends to help pass the time or a lot of players will play music when they're working pass horses. Just whatever works for you. And sometimes I'll have anything running in the background and I'll honestly just like rant or something or just kind of discuss with myself about whatever the most recent horse update was. I want that AP UFO. Come here. So yeah, you know, if I mean, if you want to talk to yourself, go ahead and do that too, I guess. I won't judge you. Okay. We're getting there. Four minutes, 28 seconds. The thing is that I don't normally keep track of how long it takes me anyway, because sometimes I'll work just a farm or two and I'll get bored with that. So I'll go and I'll do something else. And that's a good way to keep it from becoming too time consuming, especially because I have about, I have over 30 horses per pass farm on my international account and then on top of working the 60 pass horse farm so I'm working a lot of horses daily and you know you got to do what you can do to keep it kind of easy going for yourself I guess you have to stay motivated and what motivates me about working pass horses and this is why I mentioned take note of my resources and my AP amount, my Equus amount, is that AP or pass horses double as an AP farm for me. You're gaining aging points. Right now I've got 186 and we had, what, 170 when I started? So you're gaining aging points. You're gaining Equus from doing lessons and you're gaining missions from or you're gaining resources from doing missions if your horses are boarded in your EC. And I tend to board quite at least 100 pass horses in my EC. And that's it. Stop. Okay. That should have been all of them. Five minutes, 48 seconds. I did time myself the other day just as a test run. And I think I was a little bit quicker, but that's okay. Okay. So that's all my horses worked. That's 52 horses. That's 52 horses. And it took me five minutes and 46 seconds. So there, there you go. That's a real timer right there. I could probably get rid of that, but I'll leave that there for now. So yeah, a pass horse farm of 52 horses took me five minutes, 46 seconds. And if you had a full like assembly working pass horse farm of at least 60 horses, it'd probably take me about six minutes then. And the big key for this is you need, you do need a good computer and a fast internet browser. Like I rarely pass horse farm or AP farm on my laptop anymore because my poor little laptop is really old and it's really slow and it takes forever to pass farm. So that does kind of depend, but yeah, you got to do what you got to do. If you want, if you want the passes, you want the APs, you just got to push through it and work your horses, I guess. All right. So we're going to 
check. I can't remember what I said my resources were, but I've got 32, 42 iron right now. So that went up. That might have been at 3,000 beforehand. I'll be able to look back at the video after I'm I'm done and I'll know how much that went up. But my iron resources went up. So that was a benefit of AP farming that I gained resources. My, my aging points went up from, I think it was about 170 to 186. Might be a little bit off. Let's go. I need to do a ride and enter a competition to get my cards. Because that's something else that I always make sure to do. Participate in the event. Make sure you can get your prizes. I don't want to waste a ride on you. Have I done forest rides on you yet? Yeah. Okay. Did you win? You have to win, horse. Okay, that horse won. Thank you. I'll go back and finish you working you later. And then, I don't know if that one has his rides done or not. Nope. Shouldn't. Okay, mountain ride, and there we go. There's my two cards. So I got my four cards for the day. I haven't been doing too bad on here. We're going to activate that. Oh, I got a gold card. Ooh. Okay, that is really nice. I just got a free fifth element. Oh, heck yeah. That's, that's lovely. I like that. I will take that. Thank you, horse. Okay, so these are the rest of my cards. I'll go through. I'm waiting to activate my jokers. I'm not sure if I want to trade one of these. It might not be worth it, but I'll, I'll go through and search through later and see if it'd be worth it to trade a bronze or silver. Probably not, so I'll probably hang on to them, but... All right, next thing, I'm going to make sure to stroke Xanthos because I want to make sure that I always give myself the chance of getting a Horn of Plenty every day. Even if I don't win it, that's okay. At least I know that I'll try it. open up two there, and I'll open up three there. <clears throat> All right, these are my five Xanthos for the day. I'll be honest that I don't really bother congratulating Topaz anymore. He's just kind of a pain he's very stingy and he doesn't really give me much so it was I I did that a lot almost every day when I first started up this account just because he get, he does give you Equus every day for congratulating him so that's nifty any bit of Equus helps when you're getting started but I've got a heck of a lot of money right now on this account so there's not really much point in doing that and he's stingy with the diamonds so oh well but that's pretty much those are the main dailies that I would recommend doing every day if you have just a little bit of time to log in and like I said that was my main thing was just that I wanted to show how long it takes to work a pass farm which it was a little under six minutes if you have a if you're really good at moving your hand around and everything because I did have a bit of a couple little mess ups and hiccups there when I was moving my mouse around. So you could even be a little bit faster if you're a little bit faster than me. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.